Okay, this is the second set in the set of videos about Bandicam. Uh, the thing that I look like I'm choosing to replace Fraps because Fraps for Windows 8 isn't out yet. Uh, it has a lot of options and everything. If you look at our previous, our first video on Bandicam, uh, you'll see how to set some of the options. And they have really good help on their site as well. Uh, to us, it's well worth uh, the $39. So first of all, let's go look at some Windows applications, which some people have been wondering how to do that. Well, as you can see, here's the desktop. We can go see it and do fine and everything. So uh, let's run some applications. Let's just go to the finance application. And we see that the Dow is down 105. Uh, you can scroll left and right, do all that kind of thing. Uh, so that's good. So let's close the finance application and let's go out and look at our weather. And right now in Thousand Oaks, it's uh, a chilly 45 degrees. Uh, I'm going to put this on the on the left. Now you'll see the split screen come up over here. But when I release this, Bandicam's not going to see it. Not going to see that. It's only going to focus on the right side of the screen. And although you see a full screen in the video, there's actually a going to be a blank space. Let's find. Uh, let's go back and run Finance again. And I see in this area. I see all of Finance. You see it cut off over on the on the left. Or excuse me, on the right. Uh, because it's only using the screen space that it had before. So it doesn't adjust properly for split screen. Not a big deal unless you're doing split screen and everything. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and close. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go run a graphics program because we want to test that. So I'm going to run her Hydro Thunder. Uh, Hydro Thunder is like, I think it was called Hydro Thunder under an old Atari Lynx program years ago. It was a great little game and everything. Basically, it's sort of the same thing. But this Hydro is Hydro Thunder. Thunder Racer. I've turned down the volume quite a bit on this because this is a, a very uh, loud game. Let me uh, go over here and turn down just a little bit more. And like all Windows 8 programs, you use the settings are hidden away all over there. So we're going to go to audio. I'll turn down just a little bit more. Let's see. Or will it allow me? Oops. Okay, that's the lowest. So that's what we're at. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to take, you can't see it, but I'm going to close the left hand bar for the weather, and you'll see now you're back to full screen. So band, uh, Bandicam is recording the entire screen size. So tap to start. We're going to go single player because this, this is just a demo. This is just a demo. So we're going to go ahead and go and do that. And. Okay, here we go. Two, one, go, go, go. And here's uh, Hydro Thunder being recorded by Bandicam. Looking pretty good. Got my boost, so my boost is anywhere out there. And I have no idea which key it is for boost. I can jump. Let's see, it's shift. Yeah, shift for boost. Okay, you can see how Bandicam is recording all the effects and everything for the Windows 8 application. Not a regular desktop game. This is a Windows 8 app that previously I couldn't record, so I found this program. So it uh, does a good job of doing sound. It does a good job of uh, capturing everything. And uh, let's pause the game. We'll go ahead and quit and say OK. And we'll close that down and we're back to our desktop and come back here to Bandicam. And I can go look at the folder and go check on the game. But you'll as you can see, came out fine. Uh, really a nice uh, capture of the program and allows you to do that. Next, we're going to talk a little bit uh, about capturing stuff in Internet Explorer here, uh, including the uh, Flash games that people want to do and how to size your windows.